With the summer transfer window now open, the football world is guaranteed to see some really exciting moves and deals. One of the biggest ones so far is Kylian Mbappe joining Real Madrid. Well, if that is the bang this summer window is starting with, then you can just imagine how interesting the rest of the window is going to be. Well, we have a list of some of the most interesting transfers that may be happening soon. Sit back and let's go through some of the players who might be on the move this summer. Alfonso Davis, by Munich. Alfonso Davis has been on Real Madrid's radar for some time, and whispers of a potential transfer have been fueled by reports of stalled contract negotiations between Davis and Bayern Munich. There were also some rumours going on around about the transfer to take place either this summer or in 2025. The Spanish giants are waiting for Davis to respond to Bayern Munich's last extension offer before making any formal approach. Real are keen to bolster their squad with young, dynamic talent and add an attacking threat from the left-back position. Davis himself hasn't exactly hidden his interest for a move to the Bernabeu, leaving cryptic messages in interviews. This has put Bayern in a tough spot, as reports suggest Bayern wants a hefty 50 million euros fee, but Real Madrid is hesitant, knowing they can snap him up for free next year. If this deal goes through, Real will add yet another top player to their fierce team. Victor Osman, Napoli Victor Osman is the name on every top Premier League club shopping list this summer, and for good reason. The Napoli striker has been a goal machine, terrorising defences with his blistering pace and clinical finishing. Even though Osman's performance was a bit bleak as his goal return paled in comparison to the 2023 season, the Nigerian talisman seemingly still has plenty of potential suitors, with PSG chief among them, while Manchester United and Arsenal have all been mentioned. After the bitter Mbappe saga, PSG is frantically looking for an alternative and has reportedly offered a shocking 200 million euros to Napoli for Osman. There's a twist though. Enter Arsenal. With rumours swirling about Emile Smith Rowe's future, Napoli has thrown a curveball, proposing a swap deal that includes Ozyman. Danny Olmo, RB Leipzig. This Euros has given the football world some great players to talk about for ages. One of the names has to be Danny Olmo. After his stellar performance at Euro 2024, where he finished tied for the Golden Boot, clubs are scrambling to snatch him up before the transfer window slams shut. Olmo, currently at RB Leipzig, has a £50 million release clause acting like a ticking time bomb. Several Premier League giants are circling, with Manchester City leading the pack. Pep Guardiola, known for his tactical tinkering, sees Olmo's versatility as a perfect fit for his midfield. But Barcelona, Olmo's boyhood club, can't be counted out. They've made a verbal offer, but their financial woes might make a bidding war difficult. Even Liverpool and Chelsea have thrown their hats in the ring. Now, it is all about time to see which club this Spaniard chooses. Jared Branthwaite, Everton In what has been a tough season for Everton with points deductions and the fear of relegation, there has been one shining light named Jared Branthwaite. He's established himself in the first team with some fine performances. The young Everton defender, just 22 years old, has caught the eye of the mighty Manchester United. United, desperate for defensive reinforcements, have launched a two-pronged attack on Everton's resolve. Their opening bid, however, was met with a resounding no from the Toffees, but United are a persistent bunch, and they upped their offer to a staggering £50 million with add-ons. Everton value Branthwaite highly, seeing him as a key part of their future backline. This hefty price tag reflects that belief. So, will Branthwaite play at Goodison Park or Old Trafford next season? Ivan Tony, Brentford. Ivan Tony's future is shaping up to be a summer transfer spectacle. Having spent the entirety of the winter window downplaying the chances of the striker's exit, Thomas Frank has now conceded that the time is approaching for the 27-year-old to make a jump to a bigger club. So Arsenal, Chelsea, and even Tottenham are circling, lured by Tony's clinical finishing and aerial prowess. Mikel Arteta's Arsenal has been facing some criticism due to their lack of an out-and-out -out goalscorer. Gabriel Jesus has a chequered injury record and is not the most natural finisher. Meanwhile, Eddie Nketiah has not convinced many that he is capable of leading the Gunners to Premier League glory. With his track record, Ivan Toni is the most suitable candidate who is on the market waiting to be signed. Jadon Sancho, 
Manchester United. Jadon Sancho's future at Manchester United has become a summer transfer saga with more twists than a Shakespearean play. Sancho's first three years on Manchester's books have been a disaster. Then it was reported that there was a public falling out between him and Eric Ten Hag, with Sancho labelled as the wrong player for Ten Hag's system. Then he went back to Brescia on loan and rediscovered his confidence. He showed how devastating he can be against PSG in the Champions League. Dortmund have made it clear they want Sancho back permanently, but they may struggle to meet United's £55 million asking price. There are also other names like Juventus and Barcelona that are also popping up as potential destinations for the English winger. Bruno Guimarães, Newcastle After posting an alarming financial loss earlier this year, Newcastle could be forced to make at least one big sale this summer, and Bruno Guimarães is one of their most coveted assets. The midfielder has enjoyed another impressive Premier League season, balancing his creative and defensive roles perfectly. Arsenal and Manchester City currently look like his most likely suitors, with Eddie Howe warning that it will take a sizeable bid to prize him away from St James's Park. There's a catch. A hefty £100 million release clause was recently activated in his contract, a bidding war that will be enjoyable to watch. Alexandra Izak, Newcastle Alexandre Izak has exploded this season, reaching the 20 goal mark in the Premier League with only Erling Haaland and Cole Palmer scoring more, making him the target of a bidding war between Premier League giants. Chelsea, desperate for a top-notch striker after a disappointing season, already have made a hefty bid, exceeding £100 million. Arsenal is also in line to sign the Swede, but Newcastle isn't budging easily. They see Isaac as a cornerstone of their ambitions project and have slapped a near £200 million price tag on him. A must-watch transfer story. Eberetje Eze, Crystal Palace This English footballer took his game to new heights at Crystal Palace this campaign. He caught many eyes with his dazzling dribbling and creative spark, which made him rack 15 assists. Eze also edged into double figures for Premier League goals. This hasn't gone unnoticed by some Premier League bigwigs. Tottenham Hotspur seem to be at the forefront of the chase. Their manager, Ange Postacoglu, is a big admirer of Eze's attacking style and wants him to be a key cog in his tactical plans. However, Crystal Palace isn't giving up their star player easily. Eze has an unofficial release clause, with a hefty price tag of around £60 million. Adding spice to the drama are rumours of interest from Manchester City, Manchester United, and even Chelsea. Which transfers do you want to happen the most? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.